Santos. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi inspected the Alexandria Harbor and its facilities on Tuesday. Addressing the ceremony, the president said harbors are developed with Egyptian hands and funds, adding that the projects aim to keep the public debt within the current levels despite the population growth. President Sisi noted that the main aim of the projects is to obtain real economic capabilities and benefit from Egypt's special location. He stressed on the importance of finalizing the automation of all measures for the tax and tariff system before March 2022, adding that exporters would not be allowed to export goods that are not in line with European standards into the country. During the inspection tour, the head of state was briefed on the development of the harbour and its facilities, which include a logistics station and the maritime, maritime piers. He also inaugurated the fuel delivery station in the harbour, a number of mobile units, and inspected the Long Live Egypt station. احنا نعمل حاجتنا بفلوسنا طب احنا ب... عايزين المستثمرين معانا طبعا عايزين المشغلين معانا ما عندناش مشكله احنا بنتكلم على دوله بتتكلم زي ما الدول المتقدمه في مجال التجاره عشان لا نسمح بدخول اي بضائع لمصر الا طبقا للمعايير الاوروبيه الهدف ان احنا نحط مصر على الخريطه الحقيقيه لقدراتها الحقيقيه في البحر الاحمر والمتوسط هم ده المستقبل بتاع مصر. واحنا بنحط يعني نعمل خطوه وانتم هتكملوا المشاريع كلها. Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri held talks with his Burundian counterpart, Albert Shinge, who is currently visiting Egypt. The talks tackled means of boosting bilateral ties in addition to coordinating stances concerning regional issues of mutual concern. At a joint press conference following the talks, Shukri said Egypt works on implementation of recent bilateral agreements with Burundi, adding that the two countries had agreed on forming a joint business council. The top diplomats stress that Egypt seeks to enhance levels of trade exchange to keep pace with the political relations level. Shukri added, Egypt is closely following what happens in Guinea and invites all parties to find a solution for the situation. For his part, the Burundian foreign minister said his country was looking forward to enhancing trade and investment ties between the two countries.